In this video, I'm going to introduce the idea of energy. Okay, so I know that you are reasonably familiar with energy already, um, which can be both good and bad, because there's a possibility that some of the things that you know about energy are not quite right. Um, and because it seems in a lot of ways very familiar and in some ways intuitive, um, that can lead to some incorrect ideas. So what I want to do is kind of start from the beginning. Um, what are the things that are you know commonly thought about energy? And then um, kind of back up a little bit and build up the ideas a little more concretely. Okay, so the first thing that um, is true about energy is, is that it is a conserved quantity. Okay, um, but after um, taking this class, you should be asking, all right, well, I know when I see um, the word conserved that that means there are conditions. So what are the conditions un under which um, energy is conserved? Okay, so we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, and in fact, um, the next couple of chapters are actually going to build up a complete picture of those conditions. Um, it turns out that that's probably the most complicated part of energy. Um, another thing that's true about energy is that it is a scalar. Okay, so our other conserved quantities up to this point, momentum and angular momentum, um, were vectors. And that made the analysis relatively complicated using those. Um, but now we no longer need to worry about directions. So you're never going to split an energy into components. You're never going to have to worry about you know, different um, you know, directions of energy. It's always just a scalar. We can add and subtract um, the values. Okay, um, you probably also know that there are many types of energy. Um, so what are those types? Well, some that you probably have seen before are kinetic. Um, maybe potential. Um, let me be specific here and say gravitational potential. Um, because it turns out that there's actually um, a number of different kinds of potential energy. So gravitational is just one. Um, another kind of energy that you've probably come across before is chemical energy. So this would be, for instance, the energy in a battery, um, the energy in your food that allows you to you know, do all the things that people do. Um, another type is nuclear energy. So nuclear power plants are able to create um, electricity, which is yet another type. We have electric energy. Um, some other kinds that are you know important in our everyday lives are light and sound. Okay, and this is by no means a um, complete list, but these are a lot of the very common types that show up. Okay, so um, one of the things that you do in the study of energy is kind of just keep adding to the list of possible types of things that, that we can consider energy. Um, and physicists are still doing this today. There are things like dark energy, um, which is not very well understood, uh, but it may be another type of energy that we can just add to the long list. Okay, um, but what actually is energy? You know, these things, um, you know, kinetic energy, chemical energy, light and sound, those don't really seem like they have a lot to do with each other. So um, I think it's a fair question to ask, what actually is energy? Okay, and I think you could probably come up with a variety of different answers to this. Some might work better for some things than others, um, but one possible answer, and the one that we're going to start with, is the following. Um, energy is the ability to do stuff. Okay, stuff is pretty vague, so I'm going to add in parentheses, um, we might be specific and call that stuff work. Okay, which doesn't really mean much more than the word stuff at this point, but we will um, expand on that idea a little bit as we go as well. So um, if you want to know whether something is a type of energy or not, you should ask whether that thing can be used to do um, work. So I think you can imagine in a variety of cases, chemical energy can be used to do work. You know, that's what happens when you eat food and then go do stuff. Um, gravitational potential energy can be used to do work. If you drop something, the falling object can be used to do stuff um, and so on. So many kinds of energy um, are converted into electric energy, which then makes it really clear that we can use it to do stuff. 